10 Places to Visit in Sweden With its rich history and varied landscapes, Sweden is a traveler's paradise. If you love the outdoors, it's certainly hard to beat. The air and water are crystal clean, and there are thousands of acres of unspoiled forests and majestic lakes to explore, not to mention vast archipelagos along its coasts. The roads and public transport are excellent, the citizens are invariably friendly and helpful, and in recent years, Swedish cuisine has undergone what can only be described as a revolution. Throw in mind-boggling history, from notorious Viking invaders to royal dynasties and imperial intrigue, and one thing is certain, you'll never be bored. Sweden's tourist attractions range from opulent palaces and ancient towns to vast arctic landscapes and the famed Ice Hotel. There are so many things to do that you'll want to allow plenty of time to enjoy all its outdoor adventures and historic treasures. Number 10. Kosterhavet Boasting the first marine national park to be inaugurated in Sweden, Kosterhavet is located over the coaster islands and is a paradise for those who enjoy the great outdoors and who want to enjoy the many marine pursuits on offer here. For those looking for adventure, there are kayaking and boating opportunities, or you can keep it simple and explore the beaches and rocky terrain that leads you to caves, coves, and outcrops next to the bracing sea. Biking is a common pastime on the islands, and you can follow tours all over the places of interest, or just go it alone. As you are by the sea, there is an abundance of fresh seafood to enjoy, including locally caught lobster. Number 9. Swedish Lapland if you want to take the road less traveled, then Swedish Lapland may be just the perfect place to get away from it all. Located in the Arctic Circle and known as the home of the Sami or indigenous people who live in the area, Swedish Lapland is made up of a clutch of towns as well as forest and wild, but picturesque scrubland. Visitors can travel to the northernmost town in Sweden, Kiruna, to visit the adjacent national parks that stud the area and allow visitors to see elk, reindeer, and even bears roaming freely in their natural habitat. Other natural phenomena to look out for in Swedish Lapland are the midnight sun, when the sun never sets in the summer months, and the northern lights. Number 8. Dalarna the province of Dalarna is well worth a visit for its magnificent ski resorts and tranquil but mighty Lake Saljan. Located near the border with Norway, Dalarna is made up of forests, meadows, and wide open spaces, and many of the towns in the province are to be found lakeside, with favorites for travelers both domestic and international being the towns of Mora and Leksand. If you fancy some winter fun, then the resort of Idre, set in the mountains shared by Norway, offers premium skiing and snowboarding, or you can trek in the area on one of the many hiking trails. Number 7. Malmo Known for being the biggest city in the county of Skane, Malmo has steadily been making a name for itself in recent years as an arts and cultural hub in Sweden. Alongside many eclectic and up-and-coming new galleries, this city also has a strong commitment to ecological causes and fair trade products, having been made the first fair trade city in the country. Many of the restaurants here have a farm-to-table philosophy with an emphasis on organic produce and ingredients. So any serious foodie should not miss the fine dining on offer here. There is also an emerging nightlife scene in Malmo, with many venues providing live music or other pop-up events. Number 6. The Stockholm Archipelago Sweden is hardly a frenetic country, but if you still find that you want to get out of the bigger cities and take things even slower, then you can head out to one or several of the 30,000 islands that exist in the Stockholm Archipelago. One of the best ways to get around and witness the stunning and rugged islands is to take one of the old steamboats that still operate in the region. Many have planned day tours with meals included, or you can charter a private boat and island hop to your heart's content, taking in wild scenery and private atmosphere, as only around 1,000 of the islands in the archipelago are actually inhabited. Number 5. Gothenburg Known as the capital of West Sweden, Gothenburg is a charming city filled with cobbled streets that are perfect for roaming around on foot in search of hidden treasures as well as parks and outdoor spaces, including the botanical gardens that will teach you all about indigenous plants and animals. The city also boasts a wealth of local markets, 
if you fancy trying some of the local produce, or you can dine in one of the upscale restaurants that are putting Swedish food on the culinary map, thanks to the number of Michelin-starred eateries in Gothenburg. The city also has a great cafe culture if you want to try the local coffee and Swedish pastries like sweet buns and watch the world go by. Number 4. Marstrand The city of Marstrand on the west coast is probably about as glitzy as it gets in Sweden and is known as something of a French Riviera-style setting where historically royalty and film stars have come to get away from it all. The area is also very popular as a sailing destination, so if you want to get out on the glassy Baltic water, then this is the place to visit. One of the best ways to take in the city is to climb to the top of Karsten Fortress, from which you can stare out across the water and take in the natural wonders that Sweden has in spades. Marstrand is also famous for its spas, which are legendary in Sweden, so pamper yourself with some Swedish massage if you want to get the full opulent experience that draws the rich and famous to this city. Number 3. Gotland As Sweden's largest island, surrounded totally by the Baltic Sea, you'd think fishing would be the island's main industry. Not so. Agriculture, tourism, and information technology are among the top industries. The island is one of Sweden's most popular tourist destinations. Sun seekers like it because it has more sunlight during the year than any other place in Sweden. Visby, the only city on the island, is a beautiful walled Hanseatic town which has preserved most of its townscapes and historic buildings. There are also around 100 medieval churches and countless prehistoric sites on the island. Number 2. Jestad Jestad, a coastal town in southern Sweden, is sure to draw slews and murder mystery fans. Noted author Henning Mankell set his Kurt Wallander detective novels in Jestad and the surrounding area. Notable buildings you'll find used in his books include Greyfriars Abbey, one of Sweden's best-preserved medieval monasteries, and the Church of the Virgin Mary, a large medieval church. Both are outstanding examples of Gothic Hansa architecture. A walking tour over cobblestone streets also will take you past picturesque pastel-colored half-timbered buildings. A walk on the town's pretty sandy beaches is called for too. East of Jestad is the megalithic monument of Alice Stenar, consisting of 59 large boulders forming a stone ship. Number 1. Stockholm Stockholm is widely said to be one of the most picturesque and user-friendly cities in Europe and has an ambience of clean air that blows in off the Baltic Sea, as well as wide open spaces, woodlands, and parks. There is also a strong dedication to history in Stockholm that can be felt when you venture to the old town center of Gamla Stan, where you will find historic buildings as well as dainty cobbled streets that wind around the island and give visitors the chance to explore on foot. For some maritime history, head down to the harbor to see the Vasa, a warship that dates from the 17th century and escaped a watery end after being preserved and restored. Make the most of Sweden's open green spaces with a trip to the central park of Kungstrada Garden, where locals go to relax and enjoy the splendid scenery. <laughs>